Hey boys and girls, today you're going to be making this ladybug on a leaf. So to get started, you're gonna get a sheet of white construction paper and I want you to hold it landscape style so that it's wider side to side than it is up and down. You guys can start with a pencil and then trace over it with a Sharpie, but I'm just gonna start right away with the Sharpie. So you're gonna pick a corner to put your stem in on the bottom here and you're gonna draw two parallel lines just like that, and then at the corner here, you're just gonna add in a line that connects the two. And now we're gonna draw our leaf. So basically we're drawing a football shape. So we're gonna do this with two rainbow lines starting at the top here. You're gonna curve up and go towards the corner there. And then you can flip your paper and do the same thing. So I'm gonna start at the top here and I'm gonna draw my rainbow lines so it connects to the other side of that stem just like that. And now depending on how you want your ladybug facing, you'll turn your paper. So I like my ladybug facing towards the top of the leaf. So I'm gonna turn it so that the tip of the leaf is pointing up. And then what I'm gonna do is draw a big circle right in the middle of the leaf here. And then at the top of that circle, I'm gonna draw a rainbow line and then I'm gonna color it in. So this is for its head. All right, so now we can add in some antennas. So I like to make mine really big, and what I do is a curved line goes up, and then I curl it under. And I'm not really worried about drawing over top of the leaf because that's where his antennas are gonna go. So I'll do one going that way, and then I'll go the other one is gonna go curl in the other direction just like that. And then we can add in the two wings on the back. So we're gonna do a curved line that starts in the middle and curves one direction. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna do a little curved line that curves in the other direction and we'll fill in all this space here black. All right, so the only thing we have left are the spots and the legs. So I'm gonna start with the spots here. And what I like to do is draw some that are in the center, so some circles. And then I might do some that are half circles, just like this. So that's just a curved line that I'm filling in. And I can do that around the edges and then also here along the wings in the center. All right, so once you're done adding in all your spots, we're gonna add in some legs. So we're basically doing a wide upside down V. So I'm gonna go two that go towards the front and then one on the back. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. All right, so now our ladybug is ready to be painted. We are going to be using these tempera cakes to paint our picture. And of course, you're gonna need some water with this. So I'm gonna start by painting the ladybug. So what I'm gonna do is add some water to my paintbrush and then swirl this around in the tempera cake and then I can start painting. And you can paint around your dots, but it's not really gonna cover them up too much if you just paint right over them. So I'm just gonna paint over my dots here and paint in both of the wings of my ladybug. Once my ladybug is all painted in, I'm gonna wash my paintbrush, get some more water on there, and then I'm gonna pick up some of this green paint. And the easiest way to paint is to start by just tracing the outside of your ladybug, and then also tracing the inner side of the leaf here. And once you have everything outlined, now you can paint the whole inside of that leaf. All right, so after the leaf is painted, you're gonna once again wash your paintbrush, wet it, and then pick up some blue paint, and then you're gonna trace the outside of the leaf with the blue. And once that is done, you are ready to paint in the rest of your background. So for this, I'd like you to paint off of the edges of your paper so that the whole paper is colored in. So I shouldn't see any white space by the time you're done with this. All 
All right, boys and girls, that's all there is to it. Um, if you feel it necessary, you can always go back once the paper is dry and trace over um, your Sharpie lines just to make sure that they're brightened up a little bit because the color will tend to mute it when you paint over top of it. But as I said, it won't really erase it, so it's not really a big deal. But if you want to make sure that your paper's dry first, you can go back and just kind of recolor over top of those spots. All right, guys, I hope you have fun, and I can't wait to see them.